I met a beautiful St. Bernard at the beach, and then he pooped on my hand. (laughs) That feeling when your favorite salsa is discontinued, and you feel alone and afraid and hungry. Who discontinues good salsa? Haven't we been through enough? (laughs) New linen sheets, Sarah. Now that's my idea of an exciting Friday night. Mine as well. Have such a good day. Show that wants you to do that episode 163. How y'all doing? Out what there? up in the place to be? <laughs> this is the show that unpacks the absurdity and let me emphasize absurdity of everyday life oh my God. for your entertainment. Could you not be laugh? more absurd, Heather. So you don't cry. No <laughs> kidding. Yes. It, it, it's, La- uh, please do it, laugh yeah. with us so you don't yeah, cry. Please, or cry. Please. That's also allowed. you can cry laughter i mean that that's yeah. a thing i do that a lot when you're laughing so hard you kind of cry you like pinch off a, like a little tear <laughs> when i laugh too hard i pee and that's an issue <laughs> or there's that you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh really really hard for that to happen but it does but it happens happen. hey we like to be really truthful on this show we we're all about honesty <laughs> on have such a good day because what i mean why not what yeah what else are we here for Come we're on. all friends we're all friends here think about it. yeah we're all friends this is this is a safe space are you guys boiling hot out there or what yeah what's oh, going man. on with the weather it's uh sarah you must oh. be melting well so we are in a severe heat warning um here where i live in northern cal and it is not that hot right now i mean it's 95 but I mean, it's That's supposed to be like 110 within what? a couple hours of right now. I of thought this it was recording. so. I knew it was going to be like 105 in LA today. I didn't realize it was going to be hotter where you are. That's yeah, disgusting. It, yeah, it's it's not great. No, it's not it's great. Not... You know, in fact, it was like 70 something here yesterday, and it was so glorious. Um, but yeah, I know all my friends weird. in San Francisco are like, wow, it's like what a heat wave like Mike get to 80 and I'm like be quiet <laughs> You're like, don't talk to me anymore don't you know, talk to me about heat <laughs> Sarah so I'd like to discuss a, a little thing that is very much upsetting me today and that is okay. there is this I don't you know you, you there's these products that you buy every time you go to the store even if you go to the store and you buy one bag of groceries because you're just getting like your regular stuff like your milk and your your bananas and your cereal or whatever right I yeah. have a product that I, I sometimes and I know that you do this too because I know you so well and I know what you snack on but like sometimes I will literally eat chips and salsa for lunch and maybe some cottage cheese, but um, I will oh, eat yeah. a, like just salsa kidding? and chips is like my favorite thing, my sesame blues. And I I, I go to the, the store the, the other day blues. and I'm so excited to get my salsa. And it's like the hot version of this Mas Salsa Por Favor, which is like more salsa, please. This this oh. brand, it's Tomasos. And they, they didn't have any. They had all this other like, you know, imposter salsa that took over the shelf. And I asked the lady who was working there, I was like a little, I was a little annoyed. I was like, where did you guys move the tomatoes? I, I, lo- I love Heather just walking in there being like, hold on a second. <laughs> what Where's gives? my salsa? <laughs> Life is so unfair. They, I found out through this woman, this grocery store lady, that she, she believes that they're discontinuing it. And I'm like, but it's so good. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, why would you do that? And we support, I mean, we probably spend hundreds of dollars on their salsa a year. Can't we just keep them in business? Isn't that enough? You probably spend more than probably 100. More. Oh yeah, because they're like $5. <laughs> For a year. Least, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's true. You're, like once a week, $5, you're, you're, do the math. You're right. You're probably in the 500s at this point. You know what? It's <sighs> it's so funny that you mentioned this, Heather, because, okay, so I don't know the salsa that you're talking about, but I believe that it's great. I also it has have the orange pepper. Salsa. It's like a hot. It's not the hottest, but it's like it's pretty medium to hot version. Yeah, of it. yeah. So my my version of this is Casa Sanchez hot <laughs> oh, salsa. Totally yes. 
And it is just, I mean, in my opinion, the best salsa. I mm-hmm. mean, you, there, there's other salsa. You can, <laughs> you can make it work. But this is the better salsa. Uh-huh. So I feel you, like, if I were to go to, like, I don't know, whatever grocery store that obviously has Casa Sanchez hot salsa uh-huh. and then being like, well, no, you feel my pain anymore. I'd be saying. like, oh man, well now what I'm going to get. Now I'm going to have to like make my own salsa, which I I do make a pretty good salsa, but like, eh, that's just not going to happen every week. I'm, I make other things. I'm not going to be turning out the salsa every week. I might have to. You can't ever find the perfect tomatoes though. I feel like a tomato is a really tough one because sometimes well you can really find glorious. it right around this time of year you're right because like a good uh, tomato heirloom. season no you're right if it's like an yeah really juicy but you know yeah like in feb they're March. usually like mealy uh, and just like dry yeah. and like the skin's yeah. all tough and the tomatoes just aren't what they used to be <laughs> life Back is in pain. the fall <laughs> life is such pain and that's why we do this show oh exactly and on the contrary <laughs> of pain let me let's talk really briefly about linen sheets because i did mention that on the top of the show um Sarah, want to hear yeah. everything about this because okay so a little little context <laughs> yes sarah is a linen sheet fan sarah's I, talking I mean, right now once once Just I yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I am talking about myself in the third person. But once I got my first linen sheets, I don't know, five years ago or something, I was like, oh man, this is the this game is the changer. Wave. Yeah. Like Sesame and Blues I've chips. Been, total game changer. I've been totally, yes. And I've been <laughs> red hot blues. Yes. Those, those, those are my jam. Yes. But I had told Heather, like, you gotta, you gotta hang up with the linen sheets. And Heather was like, oh, okay, you know, we'll we'll get there. I'm like, you know, I got I've, the flannel, I got the I've already got my own sheets. Yeah. yeah. All all you know, all the things. But you kindly um, gave me a discount code. I did. You uh did. you know, because that's you know what internet things you know. <laughs> That's what internet companies do. love to give people uh you know discounts for their friends so that their friends buy more sheets mm-hmm. but that is neither here nor there mm-hmm. what it what what is here is that you finally slept in your linen sheets so let's hear about it oh my gosh it's it's so funny okay so what i want to say it's it's an, it's an intricate thing because they are not like anything else. It's like, you know, the whole apples and oranges thing. It's like, you kind of can't compare them to other sheets. Like, I love my flannel no, sheets like, for the winter. Like, yeah, but- like flannel is something, you know, sort of like a, like a almost uh, velvety thick, like right. warm. And then you have like the, the cotton that's like very smooth. Yes. And kind of cold like when you that get too. in. And it's like silky kind of. That's nice. It is. Also. It can be really nice. Yeah. You know, certain but thread I counts. I mean, then there's like the jersey sheets, which I think are really like for sure. dudes like those. Um, and, you know. <laughs> dudes. <laughs> you know, dudes and their jerseys. Those dudes. Those <laughs> crazy dudes. Yeah. <laughs> so the linen sheet thing. So I, I went with a diff- different company. Not that I didn't appreciate your discount code, but I had found a really good price at this one place. And I think it was an Instagram ad, which is kind of sketch because you don't know. I know there's a lot of ads well, out there right now I mean, that are kind of like. We've all been served and this is true matter or three. So yeah. <laughs> well, they got me. They definitely got me. But I, I was actually really wooed by their, I know you have pinstripe ones and I got some of the pinstripe ones and they're, when I got when I got them in the mail, I was, I was so excited. It was like a very exciting day. It's like, I knew they were coming. <laughs> Go to the post office, you know, the, the lady gives me this this package that was all soft and round and I was like, You're so like, it's my oh. shit. I'm like, it is gonna be such a good Friday night. And it was like <laughs> yeah. a Friday. And I was like, but I gotta wash them first. You know, you gotta always wash them. And so I mm-hmm. did the follow all the instructions and wash them in a very particular way. And I and like trust me, I, I have like several a couple pairs of sheets that I really do love, but for like certain seasons and whatnot you know the flannel sure. and the soft yeah. or it's whatever good to have the variety. satiny ones yeah but but like the linen is on another level it's like it's hard to explain it's it's soft but in a different way and it's but like it's oh but it also has like some some shush shush like yeah i don't yeah, even know how like, to explain like I think where you're like it's wrinkly it's not like rough but it's no. like oh it's texture it is it's te- i cannot really put my finger on it it's like they're soft, but not soft like flannel sheets, like 
like velvety soft, but they're soft no. in a different way that's very satisfying. And you really just like, it, it's a different sleeping experience. And it's I'm breathable. And it's uh, totally breathable. breathable. I don't sweat. Um, and no, it's, I mean, it's I, so I, exciting. I, I, I sweat in my linen sheets, unfortunately. <laughs> but, 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 but I do think that like, they are like, I was telling you this the other day, Heather, like, I just feel like they're cleaner yeah somehow. that's actually a good like there's word. some like the breathability mm -hmm. is i mean it's not necessarily gonna keep some old lady from getting a hot flash because <laughs> here we are but like but like they're the best sheets for they really are you know like my comfort like i almost want to google it like you know some like writer out there wrote like a deep dive into like why linen sheets oh, are like so great probably on the wire cutter right now <laughs> totally wire cutter yeah for sure for sure yeah <laughs> so otherwise otherwise how how are things going over there sarah well, Heather, um, they've been a bit of a mess. Um, uh, you know, nothing horrible has happened, but um, I I did have a little bit of a um, medical thing mm -hmm. last week. Um, and, you know, I've talked on the show, you know, extensively about, you know, my breast cancer journey, and I don't totally want to do that right this second because I don't have anything to tell you, but, um, it does seem like I might have to, uh, look at some stuff, um, mm -hmm. that ha has cropped up as of late and that's really scary. And yeah. I'm super just, I don't, I, I was about to say I, I'm bummed about it. I'm not even bummed. I don't, know how I feel about it right now. Um, what I do know is that a year ago, so, you know, we're recording this on Labor Day uh, 2022, you know, Labor Day 2021, mm -hmm. I already knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was, I was very much in the throes of, uh, you know, you know, going to Kaiser uh, Hospital three times a week, you know, for various biopsies or blood work or genetics things or mm -hmm. meeting with a plastic surgeon. Um, it was, it was kind of crazy, you know, mm -hmm. this time last year. And I didn't think that I would ever have to do that again. Like it was behind uh, you. I, you thought you like, it was yeah, well, I mean, you. I hoped, yeah. of yeah. course, I hoped. Mm -hmm. We can never know really but uh but i i you know i i i'm pretty good at putting one foot in front of the other when it comes to like okay you know you gotta do this you can't cry about it mm -hmm. <laughs> you just gotta yeah. do it mm -hmm. you know cry about it later mm -hmm. which i have <laughs> but um i um i got a little bit of like a you know kind of kind of a, a a small slap in the face yeah um you know just uh my body reminding myself that i don't you know like you can't really ever put this stuff to rest mm -hmm. um i mean sometimes you can <laughs> if you break a leg and then it heals it's put to rest but like the cancer stuff doesn't really ever go away you just hope you just hope that you're not sick anymore Yes, definitely. And maybe this will make you feel better. But like, I think we're all, you know, we're all at risk. I mean, even if we don't have it, we're all at risk to wake up to have it. I mean, I think it's absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not in front of like good statistics right this second. But if I were to be, I, I, I think the last thing I heard was one in four women will have breast cancer in their lives. Yeah. That is 20, 25% of all women. It's pretty like, wild. That's insane. Yeah. So the fact that like I am going through that is, and I've learned, um, I am very much not alone. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, a lot of other people have been going through this, whether I knew it or not beforehand. Um, and, and it continues and it's scary mm -hmm. and I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, 
it's like everything you know? it's keeping you on your toes and that sometimes is such an uncomfortable <laughs> right, right. position to be in yeah. it's like why can't i just be done and put it behind me move on not think about it anymore and now right. it's like, like ha- it's have an I- its ugly head yeah well and you know that i i think um a lot of people that i know um i'm talking about cancer specifically but i mean it could be lots of things but um a lot of people that i know have gone through what i'm going through or something similar and it's been a lot worse oh yeah a lot worse yep. so uh, i am you know grateful for the day yeah uh i took odie uh the dog to the beach this morning we were there super early there were a lot of other people there because it's um you know <laughs> it's gonna be 110 you got around here on later saint bernard Pooped on by her St. Bernard. How did he poop on your hand, by the way? Like, I'm trying well, to imagine I was, that. Because I was petting him oh. and he like got like, he was just like excited. And and then, the, you know, the owners were like, oh, we're so sorry. And I'm like, that's okay. I'll you just bring it out in the ocean. Them, I guess, Sarah. Yeah. You just have this effect on them. <laughs> I know. Just, just help. Help. Let me help you poop. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm done talking about stupid body stuff, but just a reminder to everybody out there. Um, if you are, you know, feeling good or not feeling good, um, you know, you have a lot of options in life. Yeah. And you have a lot we of all do. Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, you know, kudos to all of us for being here. Definitely kudos to all of us and kudos to you, Sarah. I mean, this, yeah, it's a lot to, it's a lot to hold on to. And you know, I'm there for you. I tell you all the time, but oh gosh, you know, I think course. everybody else is, and you have a great support, um, crew. Yeah. And, 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 you know, again, like, I don't want to make it seem like, oh no, you know, Sarah's dying. Like, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I just have some stuff that I now have to deal with that I was hoping to never have to deal with. So that's what we're going to do. And, uh, the, you know, the stats are on my side. They are for it's sure. It's probably and- going to be nothing at all. Yeah, and in the the this is a safe place, and this is why we love that we can just kind of be honest and talk about what's really on our minds um, on this show, and we have such a, a loyal crew, um, and we you know, it's a special little show, and it's it's it awesome is. that we can talk about this stuff. So thank you for for being forthright and open. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, Heather. I mean, <laughs> I got, I got, I got. Uh, you got all you know, the time. I could just talk, talk about it for days. All the yeah, time to like, yak it up. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, what's been going on in your last week? I know you've been hosting friends and kind of busy. Oh, you know me, the hostess with the mostest. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, not always, but um, but yeah, this is September is the month of visitors. Uh, you know, and it it's this is a really nice month up here because it's we have like an Indian summer, so the sunsets are really extravagant. To use one of your favorite words. Um, and um, extravaganza. It's, yeah, Heather. it's a big extravaganza. Extra- Last night was an extravaganza. Let me tell you about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it was cool because uh, I have I have a group of friends that were here. It was a, a couple that really one of my oldest friends from childhood. And she's still one of my best friends, and her three adorable kids. Um, they really are truly adorable and really fun to hang out with. And so they stayed in the cottage and. You know, we went on bike rides, we went to the beach, you know, played games on the beach. Like it was just a very like quintessential summer weekend and, yeah. you know, drank wine and just kind of hung out in, um, on the, the cliff's edge and just, you know, listen to music and dance. And it was just really, really fun. Um, and, uh, and then I actually have a crew of 10, no less 10 women coming up on Thursday for a long weekend. Ooh. So I only have a few days to rest and this is why I'm hitting those linen sheets every night cuz I get tired. <laughs> but but it's funny because there's, you know, the, you, you guys know a lot about me, but one thing that I'm, you know, sort of as I get older, I realize I do really thrive in social settings. I love hosting. I really do. I get I get into it. Um I like to show people a good time. I like yeah. to make you, plans. You, you, you are a good hostess. Yeah. I think, I mean, I try, I mean, as long as I'm in the I mood. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that, but like you are one. Like I am 
that is not something that not like thing. that gives me like kind of anxiety but you're yeah. really good at it well i try i mean there's sometimes when if i'm not like really in a social mood it can be hard and sometimes if you plan a party and you're like i'm tired today like i i don't really want to do this i mean there's been times when i felt that way um but i like making plans for people and showing them all the great spots and you know like planning out meals and just opening up a nice yeah. bottle of champagne and just celebrating and celebrating life, you know, and, and, and the day. And so I do, I like, I love that sort of ritual. Um, but you know, I will say, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of an ambivert. Like I do need to regroup. I need to recharge. I like my alone time. I like my yeah. time with Elijah, just like one-on-one -on -one. it's like quiet and calming you know, and when mm -hmm. I have a lot of people coming in and out of the house and there's animals and it's just this whole and kids and um, the socializing, I notice it's, it's like, not that we're, cause we did a lot of physical stuff this weekend. So I was tired. We hiked, we played on the beach. We did all these things, went bike riding and, but it's like the socializing part that I love, but I, it can really take it out of you. Like sometimes you're just like, I don't want to talk. Like, I don't want to answer a question or I don't want to have a conversation, yeah. but <laughs> I'm so I'm tired today, but, um, I know that but, feeling. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we had a big dinner last night. It was really fun. It was one of those nights that like was kind of a long, like this, it was just really warm into the sunset. We sat, we, we literally sat on a table right at the cliff's edge. It was so beautiful. I mean, really, it was it was one of those magical evenings. Um, we broke one of the barbecues. It was that wild. It was just one of those, like you know, just whoa, Heather. <laughs> we have to get another barbecue. <laughs> like one of the legs broke off. It was really funny. There was a lot of funny little things that happened. We had this like fun photo shoot, and we got some like fancy grass fed steak and you know, like made some Rice Krispie treats and just kind of like, it was so fun. Yeah. We drank some great wine, laughed, and we were, we were trying to speak fun. in Italian a little bit, like me and my friend who we're, we're planning a big birthday thing in Italy for when we turn 50. So it, it's just a silly inside joke, but well, you better, it was very you fun. You better invite more. Oh, you know it. I'm planning on, well, here's what I want to do. I want to get like, I want to get like a, not necessarily a villa, because that sounds so fancy, but something with like a stone, like in Tuscany, it's like a cool house with a pool and like a great <laughs> kitchen, like something with a great kitchen. And then yeah. we, can, we can do day trips and stay there for a month. People can kind of come and go. You stay know, there for have... a month. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess this would probably I mean, happen uh, before listen, I get a dog. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> we got to bring out. <laughs> you give me internet connection, I will be there. Yeah, and you don't have to stay for a month, but like it's like one of those things where oh, I'm I staying for a month, Heather. Stay for a month. Stay. <laughs> bring all the animals no seriously like i have to the animals will not be coming that that would be extremely <laughs> difficult but i would be yes please come and i and i will send out evites uh soon but it's a couple years from now but these are the kinds of things you have to start planning because i am still sitting on my hands about de this december because i want to go somewhere and i cannot make a decision to save my life so how am i going to be planning out two years from now getting a villa in Tuscany. It's like, I got to start well, now. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the answer is start now. Yeah. Otherwise exactly. you're just going to pay double. Yeah. You know, exactly. Yeah. But, no, seriously, we, sh we should but, be booking but, a yeah. year in advance at but least. But it, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, you know, something you can, you can see what's out there and I don't know. It sounds really fun. The I'm actually, uh, will be fun. I'm actually in the, <laughs> the planning phase of like going to New York, uh, which mm -hmm. I just haven't been to since 2019, wow. um, for a wedding, uh, uh, about a month from today, mm -hmm. slightly longer, but you know, somewhat close. Yeah. And you know, it's, we're so out of practice. Oh, oh totally. my gosh. I, I mean, you know, unless you've been like one of those COVID babies who just traveled the whole time, like mm -hmm. I was not, yeah. Um, you know, I've 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 been on one plane in two years. And you know, I'm I'm I, I will get on a plane and go to this wedding, like hundred percent. No matter like, what I am going yeah, to this wedding. Yeah. One. It's an important one. Yeah. Very good friend and you know, will be a lot of other good friends there. It's gonna be great. But uh yeah, it's like, hmm. I, I even looked at flights yesterday where I was like, okay. This is dramatic. <laughs> oh, like in terms of cost? 
Well, in terms of cost and just, you know, like one seat left, you know how yeah, they do I, that I, to I, you? I hate that. You know, I wonder where if you're that's like, just like a well, lie. It's like just trying to push you to. Uh, who knows? Probably. Um, Although I did hear on the radio this morning that you know, I don't remember the phrase he used, but one uh, it was a, a story about how traveling is like slightly better. You know how they've been talking all summer about how much of an a, just a nightmare it is. He's like, yeah. it, it's like a little better now. It's still bad, but it's like there's a slight uptick in like you know. The, not as many cancellations or like lost luggage and like that kind of thing. So, I mean, listen, I, uh, you know, upward trend. everyone I know who travels more than I do has told me um, horrible stories about travel. Um, when I traveled in July um, to Ohio and back to California, zero mm -hmm. problems, mm -hmm. zero problems. So, you know, it's like, I, you know, I, I, I feel like I can go into it with good, you know, good feelings, good intentions. Everything's going to be okay, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, definitely <laughs> is not the case okay. for everybody else. You just got to like, you got to get out there. You got to throw yourself out there. You, it's like you throw yourself potentially to the wolves. You don't, you don't know if there'll be wolves, <laughs> but there might be. And you just have to like accept it. In the airport. <laughs> Yeah, like we're like, the wait unknown. a second, why are there wolves in this airport? <laughs> oh, speaking of wild animals, <laughs> there we saw another fox. It ran across the road when we were riding our bikes. It was so cute. Really? I really want one as a pet. And I know some people do have them as pets. It's, well, they're not supposed it's a to. Thing. But, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, yeah. I Probably state by state has different... Uh, because I feel like if you live in Wyoming, you might be able to have a fox. Yeah. California, or, not so much. It's weird that all the states have different rules for that. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Isn't it, Heather? <laughs> it's weird that states have different rules for different things. Can't we It's be almost on the same like page? we're not living in one, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right well i i'll let that one go but you know what i am gonna do right now is what? talk about tennis nice yeah Love tennis. so i do too um i i am not good at tennis <laughs> when i was uh when i was a little kid my dad used to play tennis like mm -hmm. with a friend at a tennis court and you know i always thought it was like the coolest thing you mm -hmm. know like he'd kind of like let me like hang out and like you know, go, you know, be like Retreat one of the, the balls. Yeah, exactly. Ball, ball yeah. Girl. Like, ball, ball yeah, boy. like go fast, go fast, you know, yeah. take it seriously. But, um, but you know, I, I took lessons in high school thinking, mm -hmm. oh, I would like to be maybe on the tennis team. Mm -hmm. And I just wasn't that good. And I lost interest. So that's the end of that. Maybe you could play pickleball instead because I hear that's like an easier <laughs> version yeah. of tennis and it's like taking over the world. Or table I actually tennis. Get a, I want to get a kit. Not hear... unlike pickleball. Yeah. No, it's yes, totally. Anyway. Same idea. Anyway, um, uh, tennis, you know, for me personally, <laughs> you know, as something that I would pursue professionally, not going to happen mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and never was. But I do love tennis. Mm -hmm. And I have been following the U.S. Open very um, be because I do every year, but very much because Serena Williams was maybe going to retire and then maybe was going a little bit farther in the tournament. And then, you know, now she's out of it. Um, and and that's all, you know, it, that's I don't know that anybody is super surprised about how that all went down, but it was really fun to watch. Mm -hmm. But man it just reminded me how much i love tennis yeah it's very it's I a very love exciting tennis. it's an exciting sport you know it's funny that you say that because i actually did play tennis in school pretty competitively i, I think i did I was, you I, I had to, oh yeah 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 i was i, I, had like I knew a, you played soccer but uh, i didn't know about the tennis oh yeah it was soccer and tennis those were the two but then okay. when soccer got really competitive they my coach wanted me to quit tennis because tennis was like in the fall Soccer was in the spring, but when it when soccer, we were on such a competitive league that he wanted us to practice soccer all year round. So I had to mm. give up tennis. I think it was senior year, um, but um, I I think tennis for me, I was I was good. I was good. I was like, 
you know, I was on varsity that last part, you know, and then I was on JV early in, in high school, but I, I was one of the, you know, I did singles, not the doubles, which was a good place to be. Um, but sure. what I didn't like sure. about it, I was pretty good and I'd like to pick it up again because um, we have a little tennis court in town. It's so cute. I can't explain it. It's just like this cute little tennis court. And I, and I just yearned to play. Um, and like you yearned to watch. I like really yearned to play. Um, and I just, I think for me, the problem that I had when I played tennis and it's such a different sport than soccer because, you know, especially if you play singles, it's all you. If you mess up, it's your fault. And I would get yep, mad at myself yep. more than I would in soccer because soccer is a team sport. You know, as long as you do your part, you know, you're not pulling all the weight. You're pulling some of the weight. You're you're moving with the the crew. Like you're you're part of a bigger thing. And I would get I wouldn't like throw my racket or be crazy, but I would just like be so mad at myself if I lost. Yeah, and I wouldn't get right, mad at right. myself at soccer yeah. because I'd be like, God, that was such a great game. Oh, my team is so good. Like Yeah, there were so many of us who, you know, put effort into it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's the problem I have with tennis. So like now I think if I went back out there, I wouldn't take it so seriously because we were in competitions. We would go to different schools in the Bay Area and it would be really stressful because I'd be on this court with this stranger, this like hardcore, you know, athletic looking chick. <laughs> and I'm like, I have to like play this girl for like a win. And, it, and I think that's what made me play. I'd screw up because I put so much pressure on myself. I get nervous. But I wouldn't get yeah. nervous with soccer. Anyway, so yeah, I hope to, I like to get a new tennis, tennis racket because the one I have is pretty old. Um, but uh, yeah, that's on my list. It's on one of my to-do lists. <laughs> you Play know, tennis I'm going to buy you a tennis racket for your birthday oh, this year, Heather. My birthday is coming Some, up. Something right kind of fun. Corner. Something gold. I love that. Know? Something kind of shiny. <laughs> I know I what it. you mean, though. Like, I, I, I've I, always been, um, well, you know, I always say, like, I was too little for most sports mm -hmm. i was a cheerleader because you know I love i'm that. good at that you know <laughs> but like but like basketball volleyball mm -hmm. even soccer like i'm not i'm just too little um but uh when tennis came around i was sort of like this actually could be something that like i could own you know yeah Totally. Because your body type, well, I mean, it does matter. Well, you could be but zippy because you're small. You, know? you can be zippy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, important. that kind of back and forth stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and having, you know, actually kind of like pretty good upper body strength. Yeah. But I wasn't that good. Yeah. And, and I also think that I just was like into boys. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, like, you had your priorities. Like I would just be like, ah, tennis lessons. I don't want to do that today. Totally. Um, so I kind of, you know, it, it kind of went away. But I know that feeling that you're talking about um, of the, oh, it's all up to me. And if I F up, I F up. And but I you get, could say yeah, that about a I, lot of sports. You can. You, you know, can. like what about a baseball pitcher? Yeah. Like I had if a the hard pitcher time with, like, yeah, like that's true. shits the bed. Yeah. And, you know, like ruins they, it for went, everybody. They lose the game. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. I, I, there were certain sports that I would get really nervous. And one of them, I, I did do track also a couple years. Um, I was very sporty. Um, but uh, I did like the, <laughs> the, the 500, or wait, what was it? The 400 meter dash because I right. was an yeah. insane person. Um, don't ever, I do not recommend that for anybody. It's like, it's like, if you want to have a, um, I don't know. Nervous oh, see, breakdown. I think that sounds really fun. Because I'm like, I just one run as as fast as I can for yeah, 400 but, meters. Yeah, but think about it. You have so you have like the little spiky shoes on. You're on the blocks, and there's someone shooting a like a, one of those pistols. Well, it's like not a real gun, but it's like ready, yes. set, go. Right. And it's like yes. everybody. Olympic it stuff. is so. I mean, my stomach. I don't think I've ever had stronger where your stomach is in circles. Oh, it was so stressful, and I quit it because I was like, this is too much. I can't. I can't deal because uh, I was pretty fast, but I wasn't like the fastest. I was probably, you know, in the middle somewhere. Um, in fact, the girl who was here this weekend was like one of the fastest. She's an incredible runner. And um, huh. anyway, so yeah, I, I totally understand that sort of from afar, like really like you, yeah, you can adore watching a, a, a game and not, not play it. I mean, tennis is a really hard sport. It really is. It's, it's very difficult. It'll probably take me a while to get back into the rhythm and um 
but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it does, it, it's frustrating too. It's a frustrating sport to learn because, you, you know, it's easy to kind of hit it over the fence and not hold your racket. There's such technique. Um, there's a there's lot no room of for technique. Error. Yeah. No. And, you know, he, <laughs> it's funny, like, <laughs> and this is me, like, not being great at tennis. So, like, please don't, you know, listen to me being like, oh, Sarah is such a, you know, she knows everything. But what I do know about tennis is, like the knee and the shoulder stuff. I mean, it you, like you have one bad, one bad um, moment and you're out for years. Mm -hmm. You cannot like, I mean, tennis elbow is a thing for a reason. Yeah. Uh, it, oh, yeah. It, it is a very punishing sport. Uh, you know, if you, if you make one wrong move, even if you are the best in the game, I mean, mm -hmm. very easy to get an injury. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. Very, very easy. I mean, I, I feel like, well, soccer too. I mean, I quit soccer cause I got kicked in the face and I was like, I can't do this anymore. This is just like, I'm too fragile. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like that either. God. Anyway. So yeah, I, um, <laughs> now, now that Heather and I are kind of like deep in our feelings about sport, <laughs> well, no, my there's like, Remember that time I got kicked in the face? <laughs> got, <laughs> I broke yeah. my finger. And I'm like, I wasn't very good at tennis anyway. <laughs> so I have to say, like, <laughs> I'm distracted right now because my cat, Ziggy, I don't normally record in my actual office that's in the main house. I usually record in the studio, but they're, I'm getting the, the wall fixed. We're getting new siding put on. And so it's, it's loud, so I can't record in there. And Ziggy mm. finally woke up from a nap and he's rubbing his face on my, my microphone stand, which is like pushing my microphone. He's putting his face inside the like grid of the stand and the mic. And he's like, he's potentially going to like really screw things up here. So I'm a little distracted, but, um, but, uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, looks like he's starting to lick his leg. So maybe we're we're in some safe territory <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, goodness. They get distracted uh, well, so yes. easily. <laughs> yeah. Just in case anyone's curious, Heather has a cat issue in her <laughs> office space at the moment. Well, so, okay. So I wanted to mention uh, one more thing and we can start wrapping this baby up. But uh, so, Sarah, I don't know if you've ever heard of the term uh, rage quit. Have you heard of oh, that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Where, where you're, you're so mad that you're like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm canceling my Twitter account type Exactly. Thing. And I think it does. I didn't realize that it applies. It's very much applies. to when you're playing a video game and you're just like, you want to quit in the middle of a, you know, killing the big boss or something and you're frustrated. I didn't realize <laughs> yeah. it was very applicable to video games. Um, but, uh, but for me, my, my CPA actually brought it up one day and it was kind of like, oh, I never heard that. This was like a while back, but I, I'm kind of bringing it how, back up. How did the C, like, how did that even come up? She out? goes, well, it, I, I can't get into too much detail, but it's basically like, yeah, if you girls ever decide to rage quit at all, meaning like sell everything and like move to and Hawaii like, or something. And you were like, rage quit? Rage quit? I like that. <laughs> I like the sound of that. So yeah, oh, we, I was funny. like, I really was like, I like that. And I don't think I had heard it in a sentence before, um, you know, it related to my life. So I've been thinking about it a lot and how kind of sometimes you just get this, like, and I know you get this too, Sarah, because you have days where you're like, I can't anymore. I want to change. And you just want to like drop everything and just like leave. And I don't feel like that right now. Um, I don't, I, I have a good life. Um, I have a, you know, I do enjoy a lot of the work I do. Some of it can be annoying for sure um but for the most part i get to work for myself i'm overseeing some interesting you know properties and i have a lot of valuable free time and you know but sometimes i i have oh i also get to do this podcast every week which is you know it's a labor of love and whoop whoop, whoop, <laughs> and, whoop. Um, well it is a labor of love <laughs> it is but, it, but it's it also, what it is and what i but we what do I, love it we do love it and it totally always like makes for a better day and the thing is too not everybody has time to do a weekly podcast and like we're lucky that we can do a passion project that like we it's ours yeah. like it's our thing and i feel lucky because i do have a lot of that like freedom. Um, but I, I sometimes I have fantasies about like just rage quitting it all 
and it, 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 the definition is essentially like you, you're you like angrily abandon an activity or a pursuit that becomes frustrating and then it you know again mm. i think it originated in the video game world whatever but it can apply to a lot of things um and it just it's like this fantasy thing where i'm like i could if i wanted to just rage quit and go anywhere and do anything I want. I, I don't know where I would go or what I would do. I think that's part of the problem. There is no like Shangri-La out there that I'm like, I w if I could move anywhere, I'd move to Hawaii or whatever it is. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really, I feel like the world has to settle a little bit before I might find that like next place. But it's just, it's fun to explore the possibilities. Like, you know, maybe sell it all and buy a modest bungalow in the desert. I don't know. F it. Life is short. But email us at hi, have such a good day.com. If you have something <laughs> you want to rage quit um, from time to time, we'd love to hear about it. Indeed. And we know um, that not everybody has the opportunity to rage quit things that they don't like. And, you know, we're, we're here for you all as well. You know, if you're in a situation where you're like, well, I don't really like this, but I can't get out of it. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it, this is this is the podcast for you. <laughs> we hope so anyway. <laughs> well, because, Sarah. because yeah, because uh, life is hard. Let's yeah. go shopping. <laughs> so, um, um, Heather, you mentioned us wrapping up the show, which we are going to do in just a couple. But first of all, thank everybody who is a patron of ours. If you're uh, familiar with Patreon, you already know who you are. If you're not, patreon.com slash have such a good day is where you can find out more about how to become a direct member of the show. We have a Discord, for example, for folks who can part with $5 or more per month. Um, and we have fun conversations in there. Shout out to all the Discorders. You guys are the best. Um, we're always happy to have more. Um, every time we get a new patron in the Discord, Heather, I feel like it's just like that much more fun. It really is. It's exciting. It's, uh, I know we've said this before and, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's just another, um, addition to our intrepid crew and it's fun to get to yeah. know you guys. It's fun to have different people from different places. I mean, speaking of, um, yep. one of our, yep. one of our patrons, uh, Ron from Edmonton, Alberta, which I'm, it's fascinating. I'm like, what will, up, I ever, Ron? <laughs> will I ever get up there? Will I, will I ever make it up to Canada? You might, Heather. You I might. Mean, it's kind of an exciting, maybe I'll end up rage quitting and going to Alberta. I mean, yeah. it could happen. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be the first person. <laughs> well, he wrote in and he said, because Sarah and I, we grouse a lot about the weather. It's like, it's either too hot or it's too cold or too foggy or... You know, we're tired of wearing know, turtlenecks or whatever so it is. We're so good at that. <laughs> we are so good at that. So he, <laughs> he writes and he says, hello all. We are enjoying an exceptionally summery summer up here in the great white north. Lately, late August and early September, we have many days that reach the 88 to 90 Fahrenheit range and higher. This is unusual and is breaking long held records. It will probably end soon as the forecast for the latter part of the next week after the holiday weekend has temperatures going down to the highs around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which to me is like the perfect weather, and probably soon after that even lower. There has been very little rain lately, and this is good for the farmers with grain, oil seed, and lentil crops who expect to have bumper harvests. Hmm. Uh, fall comes very fast here when it comes. The trees are largely bare by late October. Sad face emoji. Hope you're both doing well. That's interesting. Oh, Ron. It Bumper is. harvest. I don't know much about that. Like, they don't need water? Like, that's Well, I mean, I'm familiar with bumper crops mm -hmm. for sure, but I also live in wine country. So, I mean, yeah. a bumper crop around I here see. is like everything grape. So, yeah, the grain, oilseed, lentil mm. crops, farmers saying like, it's actually kind of great that that's we have so less rain. <laughs> is not you know not that i'm not advocating for less rain across the world i know we need more mm -hmm. but that is yeah like that's something i haven't really thought about yeah it's in, it's like you can't there's no way everybody could be happy at the same time because you know you know there's farmers up there that are like oh i need rain my plants are dying but you know it benefits somebody that's good to know not if you're an oil seed farmer apparently <laughs> you know 
and how would we know this if not for Ron? I think it's Thank fun you. hearing about other weather in other places. It's it's a I think yeah, Sarah and I are obviously weather fans. We enjoy talking about it. <laughs> it's fun and sometimes stressful, but if you guys, I don't know, want to share what the weather's like where you are, we would love to hear from you. Hi at have such a good day.com. Indeed. Well, on that note, everyone and and Heather and weather, <laughs> which actually <laughs> rhymes with Heather. I never. Oh, really you know what's funny? That the other day, the second, the other day, I said <laughs> uh, to my housekeeper, I said, "You know, this Heather is at the end of her tether with this weather," and she and I made her laugh. And I didn't even really mean to do it. It just it, it like I didn't know it was going to rhyme that well. It was it, kind of this just, amazing yeah, moment. It just worked. <laughs> it just yeah, worked. It just worked. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> No, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna laugh really hard. I don't pee your pants. I feel like I, I, will, I will not. I will not pee my pants. Um, I'm gonna be an adult. But um, yeah, that's funny. Heather, weather, tether, leather, Ooh, leather, uh huh, leather, uh huh. Mm. It keeps we on going. Keep feather, going. feather, even. Mm -hmm. Swift. Yeah, sometimes I have to tell yeah. people mm -hmm. when they're like, if they don't understand my name they're Feather, like Heather yeah. how do you spell it like if I'm ordering food online they're they're all or I mean sorry on the phone I'll be like it rhymes with weather and they I mean, it's spelled like weather <laughs> and they go oh okay cool uh, but it's funny that yeah. I, I, I thought my name was pretty common I, I don't it seems odd that people are like don't understand how to spell it I don't know maybe it's a California thing uh I mean uh, I think I don't know I think People are nuts. That's what I think. People are totally nuts. <laughs> but you know what? We're not. We're not late for the end of the show. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I have a frog in my throat <laughs> at this point. I don't know. All that Heather talk, Heather. <laughs> Maybe be like... Maybe you're under the weather. I, I don't know. I mean, let's... Let's hope the fuck not. Okay. Uh, but uh, until 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 we all meet again, everyone for episode uh, one sixty three. One sixty three. Yeah. Next week, I will remain Sarah, and I will remain Heather. Indubitably. <laughs> Extravaganza! <laughs> yeah, such a good day. <laughs>